Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, do a little video here for you. You know, we're getting into late October. Um, time to be doing some bed changing around. Now, I cut this okra back, and I was really going to grow some more, but and it was doing pretty well. You know, I got some little spurts coming out, but the thing of it is, is I'm really going to redo this. You know, you've heard me talk about in a couple of aquaponics videos here that I want to redo this bed. And one thing I want you to be aware of when you're growing stuff in these beds and this is one of the reasons I'm switching up the way I do this is look at this right here you see that rat down there this okra and I kind of figured this would be the case I can't get it out right now I mean I will eventually get it out but it is one big root mass and so you know of course if I'd have used maybe hydrogen or something like that it may have been a little bit different but let me show you something over here as well hold on one second let me just show you. Right now I got the water off in this bed, but I'm going to fix it and turn it up. You can actually see right there where the water is going. There's a root mass. If you look down here, I just took a couple plants out. You see all these broken down roots and stuff in here? Now what eventually ends up happening is these beds get to where they don't drain as fluidly as you like. I mean, they do okay. I don't. I can still drain them all right. I got the water turned on pretty fast. If I don't run it too fast, I can get it to drain. But there's just a lot of, of gunk in here. Um, basically just old root masses. From, I mean, look, right here if I could pull some out. Of, they got all these pieces of roots. So when you're doing your bed work, you know, that's something to keep an eye out for when you design it. Now, I think my, I'm, I might still have a couple of these beds on the new build. One or two, because I do like the way they do it. They grow. But I'm probably going to go to individual buckets all the way across the board changed the buckets the way I have done in other videos though. I, I showed you some of the Dutch buckets I had before. See if I let that on that speed it eventually ended up running over the side here. Of course I don't really run it that fast. I don't need to run it that fast but definitely want to clean this bed out. Um, but one thing about it, thank goodness, there's not a lot of fish crap in it because I do filter pretty well. So this is not filter, you know, sludge from the fish tanks clogging this up or nothing. I mean maybe a little bit from there but I kind of doubt it. But while I'm doing this thing, this up there, I might as well show you. I got some awesome growing peppers. I mean, these beds, don't get me wrong now. They are growing uh, things at a great, great pace. I got a good, good amount of peppers on here, and there's a ton of blooms going on. You can see those peppers in there. Over here, if you look at this bed, a bunch of nice bell peppers and stuff, so forth. Here's a new tank I'm going to be using. It's not a new tank. You guys have seen it, but just, I haven't got it up online yet, but... Uh, you know this this plant here some buffer so even though I mean look at this a lot of peppers on here it's growing well even in the tomato bush I had over there that thing is putting back better tomatoes than I ever had from when I started anyways I just want to talk to you about the bed maintenance um, what to look out for about the roots clogging it up and stuff I'm gonna be changing this around show you guys look I just get did get one of the okra plants out look at that root mass I mean that is definitely huge you know of course water wasn't it was flowing pretty good through here they were obviously loving what they were in so I just think I don't keep a lot of water in my beds to be honest with you it flows really slow and so uh, you know they don't really drown you think oh man they're drowning there's too much water in there but obviously by the way the plants are growing they're, they're not drowning by no means but look I got the okra out of the bed look at this I was able to take this I hope the the light ain't messing y'all up I can't hardly see through the camera but I was able to get that okra out. Look at that root mass that has just grown underneath the whole bed. So this bed's gonna have to totally be taken out out of use, which like I say was something I was gonna do anyway. But uh man, you can see how the roots can pile up quickly. They're nice healthy roots, you know, for sure. Uh really clean. You know, I can't imagine I, and I'm not saying anything bad about it, but I see how some take aquaponics and and they uh, they don't do any filtration and they let these beds filter the fish waste well if you've never had a barrel and you've cleaned out the bottom of it from the fish waste now mine's set up pretty easy I can just basically let it come out with a tap but it's some pretty nasty stuff not that I, I use that too and and actually in uh, in beds that are you know regular gardening beds um, but uh, you can see it. this was full of crap, fish crap. Man, it'd be kind of hard to want to mess with that, don't you think? So it's probably a good advocation for uh, 
for a little bit of pre-filtration before you get to the beds. Because all it does is build up down there. I know people say you put worms in, and I agree, worms do some good things, but you know, worms have waste as well. And eventually it's going to build up. So either way, you're going to have to come to this conclusion. And by the way, we're having just roots, or roots and fish manure. Mm. I guess that's everybody's decision. But hey, appreciate it, guys. But, uh, thanks a lot. If you like what you're seeing, like. If you don't like it, don't like it, and let me know why. Uh, any kind of comments or feedback would be great. You guys have a good one. Take care. Bye.